We are at Eurobike 2018 in Friedrichshafen in Germany. This is the biggest trade bicycle show in the world and we're here to check out some of the coolest 2019 tech. Come with me if you want to see it. So for a long time, Evoc have had back protectors built into their backpacks. And in many respects, they were the market leader in this because you can actually take those off and wear them separately with the waistband and the straps as a back protector for racing, which of course, in a lot of European destinations, it is required. Now this is their latest unit. This is the Neo system. And unlike previous ones, they sit on the inside of the bag that actually takes up a lot of room. As you can see on the model here, it actually sits on the outside of the bag, between the bag and yourself, so it allows a really, really good airflow between you and the bag, which again helps stop that sweaty back syndrome that all mountain bikers have to suffer if you're using the pack. And of course, it's maximum protection. This thing is really, really heavy duty. 95% better protection from previous offerings. Really, really good piece of kit, that. So something that Evoc have always been really good at is their accessories to go along with a range of bags and protection. As you can see here, they've got a tool pouch here made of a heavy, thick, like tarpaulin style material for keeping tools in your bike bag that aren't going to actually sort of stab you in the back if you fall off. Of course, something I particularly like is their first aid kits. They're waterproof. They come with the bare minimum that you need in there. Of course, the bigger units have a bit more in there. That's a professional level kit whole bunch of other cool stuff and something else has just taken my eye is their new hip pack so this is a tiny little soft pack one liter size really small really discreet some of the bigger packs you can overload them a bit and they do end up wobbling around despite how good those straps are but the small ones actually really quite cool really into that here on the pox stand checking out the tactile race with the spin technology on the inside that's the protection against rotational injuries that's a new system on the inside now i've literally just got this very same helmet in the white with the black colorway i think it looks so nice a little bit different because we normally wear black helmets at gmbn and you can see how well it fits with the goggles i'm actually a little bit sad because i've just seen that i think there's an even nicer one i think the matte blue with a gloss blue oh absolutely love the styling on their helmets it's so cool and the ventilation for such a protective helmet is quite astonishing on these. Really nice bit of design, that. Now, eyewear is obviously quite an important part of mountain biking. Downhill races and enduro races quite often favor goggles for maximum protection, the way they sit on your face, but glasses are where it's at for most conventional riders. And not only are they good to cope with different light conditions, but they keep debris out of your eyes, flying branches, stuff like that. They're actually really useful just for safety alone, let alone the light transmission I have to deal with. Now, in the past, I've always favoured just a clear lens because based in the UK, we have to deal with light and dark quite often. And trying to deal with those high contrast situations and dappled light can be very difficult. Now, this is the latest lens by POC in conjunction with Carl Zeiss technology. And this is called a clarity lens. Now, the whole point of this lens is that it does transmit a lot of light through to your eyes while still shading them, but it also actually accentuates greens and browns which means you can pick out shadows roots holes all that sort of stuff when you're diving into dark sections in the wood it's a really really cool lens technology love the fact that you're getting this tech in lenses we've seen this with oakley and other brands before and pock have this and that's the one i reckon so this is the new POC system protection vest. So as you can see, it's lightweight body armor, spine protector and a chest plate. It's made of their insane VPD material that's very impact resistant. It firms up under hard impact and remains nice and soft and supple to conform with your body movement. The spine protector, again, is very mobile, very heavily ventilated. So you can wear it against skin, probably nicer to wear over a base layer or something similar to that and then maybe underneath the jersey. Something that's very cool about this is the fact that it does give you all that protection that you really do need in those places for pretty severe injuries, but it's so mobile that you won't notice you're wearing it. Not like the old days, you know, the old day EC jackets, the full jackets and the spine protectors and the kidney belts. That stuff's really protective but can hinder your riding. The aim of this stuff is to give you that protection and not hinder your movement on the bike. Now, also in the range is just the back protector itself, which of course can be worn 
just as a back protector, but also it's important to point out, this can be used for other sports as well. Stuff like skiing and snowboarding is ideal. So if you're a mountain biker that likes winter sports, it's actually a really, really good and sensible bit of kit to buy. You can use it for whatever you want, mountain biking, skiing, snowboarding. It's gonna be really good protection for your back. Of course, this is the new Bluegrass Legit full face helmet here, full carbon construction. Neil took a good look at that on last week's tech show. Of course, it's got those little ear vents in there that obviously great for stopping stuff going in, but obviously so you can hear what you're doing. Always a hard thing with a full face helmet. These helmets are gonna be debuted at the World Championships in Lenza Hyde later on this year. So expect to see a lot of people running these. What I can tell you is it's really, really light. Super nice looking helmet that. And something I've just spotted, cool little detail on the inside here, defend your passion. There you go, a little motto that you might be able to see whilst you're riding. And of course, the other thing that's really important to say about the legit helmet is it uses the MIPS system in here, the latest version of MIPS. So it's multi-directional impact protection system, and that is to help the prevention of rotational injuries that are transmitted to your skull. For example, an oblique injury basically. So if the helmet is actually moving, your head will move independently within the helmet so it doesn't suffer additional trauma. So a really good system. And as you can see on the inside here, it's a lot more slimmed down, more fabric based than the last versions that we saw, which are quite heavy duty yellow plastic. System works equally as well. It's just a bit more comfortable against the head inside the helmet there. Really nice bit of kit. So Camelback, obviously, they're looking at the water protection as well as hydration. And this is their impact protector. So it's a sternum protector. You wear it much like a chesty strap from GoPro and other similar cameras. It's actually got a GoPro mount on there. So it protects your sternum, but also gives a really good base for actually mounting the camera on there for stability reasons. It's compatible with all the usual Camelback bags and, of course, other hydration packs. And you can actually just wear it on its own. Really nice bit of kit and, of course, a bit of protection for your chest there. So great little feature and also underneath here is the new repack hip pack this particular one absolutely love this in the camo in fact i reckon blake's got his name written all over this one nice bit of feature there it's actually quite a big size but it's got those real good sort of load straps like you see on rucksacks to pull the load into your hip so it doesn't flap around too much if the repack is too big for you as a hip pack for your daily rides they've also got the flow which is far smaller with a bottle holder on there actually these are really good for trail running and other sports as well as the obvious mountain bike rides but it's actually got a surprising amount of storage in there but again another good hip pack option that's probably going to be a bit more suitable for those enduro racers who want to minimize the amount of kit they carry but another cool camo colorway of course not everyone wants to go minimal check the size of this out this is a camelback kudu this is their 30 liter pack so this is suitable for bike packing that got these huge waist pouches on the side that wrap around and really pull it into you as a rider and of course this has got their impact protection system based on the inside here. it's a removable system and it certifies the, the backpack itself as safe for enduro racing and other forms of bike riding but of course it's all about that protection element that's built into the pack moves with your torso very protective impact level two on this particular one and it's a multi-layered system there to offer maximum protection against spinal injuries there really nice bit of protection safety gear there so again just to emphasize the fact that POC are really into their safety aspect and they categorize their pads on the level of protection that they offer so these are a level two protection so not only are they going to give you maximum protection against an impact they've got a really really tough material over the top to protect you against abrasion the whole thing slips on like a sock over your elbow and i do a knee pad version of the same thing highly mobile and it's got the vpd protection in there but that's not even the one i wanted to talk about i want to talk about this this is the new lightweight option so this is rated a one on the protection system so it's not quite as protective it's very minimal but as you can see it's insanely supple so really supple really protective enables you to sort of do all your riding without any sort of hindrance to that movement but again that's level one so it's not quite as protective as the other system pads available but if something minimal is what you want there you go hopefully you've enjoyed some of the cool tech from Eurobike here at Friedrichshafen if you want to see another video from yesterday with half an hour packed full of cool stuff, click right down there. And of course, make sure you tune in tomorrow for more Eurobike goodies. As always, click on that round globe to subscribe to GMBN Tech. And if you love us, give us a thumbs up.